Now let's try to open selected examination with mouse double click and review and analyze it. Here is an EG example with epileptiform activity. For reviewing EG traces I can use mouse wheel or arrow keys right and left, page up and, and page down keys for moving page by page to left or to right, and home and end keys for navigation to end and to the start of the examination. Also you can make visible toolbar navigation using context menu on toolbar buttons. Here you can manage visibility of toolbars, for example we can make visible navigation toolbar. Also here you can manage the size of icons and the view of the icons, for example only image or text above and from the left side, from the right side. Something like this. And using navigation toolbar you can also make navigation, for example automatic move forward or backward. Move page by page. In this mode you can manage speed of scrolling with your mouse wheel like this. Now I increasing the velocity of scrolling. Or you can also press mouse button in the bottom side of the traces to increase and decrease the velocity of scrolling. Now I decrease the speed of scrolling. To stop scrolling I can use spacebar Now let's see how to analyze such examination. For example, I'll show you how to manage epileptiform activity. Using this window, we can start epileptic seizure detector, which will automatically mark all epileptiform activity in this examination. Now you can see that seven epileptic seizures were found and here in fragments tab we can see all of them and we can navigate between them with mouse click. I can review each of them and I can agree or disagree. For example I can remove, remove this episode and not agree that this is the epileptiform activity or I can mark it manually for example like this and it also will be here in my list also I can start automatic spike and sharp waves detector but you can see that it is quite longer and here also you will see all episodes which were marked by this algorithm. And on mapping page you can see spike count and sharp wave count maps and spike amplitude and sharp wave amplitude maps. And also average traces for all spikes averaging. And burst suppression episodes. We also can use automatic searching of such episodes or we can mark them manually.
On this examination there is no burst suppression episodes. But anyway we can mark them manually like this. Burst and suppression. Also using analysis main menu you can open different windows with different type of analysis for example spectral analysis, correlation and coherence analysis, periodometrical analysis and amplitude analysis. For example in amplitude analysis window you can see maximum, mean and asymmetry of amplitude for each derivation. Also you can review maps for all rhythms delta, theta, alpha. You can select one of them to make it bigger. For example, according to this map, you can see that alpha rhythm amplitude is higher in O2 derivation. To make it more clear, we can select another montage, for example, monopolar 19. And here we can see that alpha rhythm is bigger in occipital derivations and on FZ derivation. It's untypically because this patient is ill and have epileptiform activity. You can see that when I scroll the traces, analysis results are changing because now in this window is express analysis working. It means that all I can see on left side will be analyzed on the right side. For example, if I select some part of traces, you will see here selected fragment duration 5.6 seconds. If there is no selection, it is current page duration 9 and 6 seconds. So when I move traces, you see the result of analysis are changed. And this rule is the same for all other analysis windows. But here you can select analysis by selected epochs. It means that you can select epochs, for example, manually, like this. And all analysis will be made, will be calculated only by selected fragments, not by all traces, but only by selected epochs, like this. And you can switch between express analysis and analysis of epochs. Also in settings you can set up some parameters of mapping, for example increase the quality of maps or we can make visible electrodes or hide them like this or you can make visible mapped values on the maps like this Also, you can use 3D maps. In video main menu, you can open all video cameras which were recorded during examination. In this examination we have only one video camera and now we can review video from this camera. We can locate video window like here or we can make it semi-transparent if we use transparency. So you can remove uh, review traces and review video simultaneously. If you press mouse button here you will see video image 
if you press mouse button on the traces, video is go back to semi-transparent mode. And also you can manage the transparency here. Now it's more transparent. Now it is less. Also under traces you can see this navigation line where all episodes are marked with, with red lines and you can navigate between them with mouse click like this. Here is the flash simulation episode. Here is our multi spikes episode and here is epileptical seizure episode. You can correct start and end borders for each episode and all of them will be described in your report. And also you can copy each selected traces to report, for example in color or grayscale, like this.